Yo, 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 welcome back to uh, episode two of uh, 2K2020 XS. Let's get back into it. Matter of fact, a lot of you guys, I'm going to do the stress classes. Hey, everyone. Fantastic win tonight, Andy. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? You know, John, there was a lot of noise this offseason about whether I was the right pick at 18. So it felt... <laughs> it felt really good to get out there and just start proving my worth and proving that I was the right choice, you know? You know, I was so sick and tired about hearing about right choice, and P this, and P that. You know, I just wanted to be a guy. Well, you were certainly about it tonight. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you got in store for us next time. Thanks, John. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Alright. I think we got time for a couple more questions. Uh, hey, you over here. Let's talk about a name. Chef Owens. You know, Chef Owens has cast a massive shadow over the start of your career. What do you need to do? Forget to, shit. Um, convince the fans that it wasn't a mistake to draft you over Shep. Oh, you saw the 20 points in the first game? Man, I can't think about it like that. I mean, my job is to perform the role that I've been given to the best of my abilities. And if That's I do right. that, I think I can help this team win games. And if we win games, fans can be more than happy. No, okay, we win games. Well, let me play I look good. the devil's advocate. And when I look one. good, well, do I you get more play fans will be happy if you remain a bench player for the rest of your career. Well, why will like be said, a bench player? If we win, I don't see how they can be upset. Exactly. I mean, obviously, every player in this league wants to start, and I'm no different, but winning comes first, man. First, bro. And as long as we win more first. games than we lose, I'm sure they're going to be more than happy. You know? These fans are smart, man. They recognize that it takes an entire team to win, not just one great player. You know, a great starting lineup with zero depth is going to have a hard time making a championship push. And that's our goal here. Compete for championships. That's it. Uh, seems like we're done here, huh? All right. See you guys later. Well, my iPhone can I was about to die, so I'll be switching over to live video. Matter of fact, I'll be back. All right, folks, I'm back. I had to adjust my other can. Getting looking a little better. It doesn't look as good as iPhone. I heard you worked with Chris Brickley. <laughs> He's the best. Them shit. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, Welcome, yeah, I just got off the phone shit. with Othello Occam's assistant, <laughs> and uh, the big boss man wants to see me. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So, honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. 
Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't. I think it's in my favor. Going there with an open mind. Yeah. See what they want to talk about and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Okay. Bet. So much stuff. The open world looks fantastic. Hey, Olive. Empty, how are you? Well, I can't complain. I'm a little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it right, looks right. like you're with Mr. Acton today. Yeah. Uh, where is she again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Acton? Yeah, well, you... You've been working here for some time, you know? Oh, I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool, thank you, but, uh, okay, so what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's it's, it's <laughs> kind of the old. same difference, a little bit. It's, it's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. MP, come on in, take a seat. What's, up, MP? What's my name? It's the Akim. What I tell you about that? Bella, please. I ain't in my bag, you got it. So, about chefs. Oh, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. Right? Well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. Talk to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative. You're a ball player. Not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, so you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Complete all objectives. Zero of our game. Okay, pleading. Got you. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the start. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Crystal. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddy gives you a hard time, whatever. My door is always open. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Mr. Ogpen. Othella. Hey, guys, let me get a pillow. Don't mention it. Thinking about putting in the work. See you, coach. Look in the room, MJ. It should be a green one. As soon as you walk in, buy the black bag. Thank you. Come again. It's like every time I run by somebody, I'm like, I'm wondering what they're thinking. I'm like, what much are they on? How far are they? What's the it's better than GTA. Appreciate you. Great win, boss. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. No, you. Yo, no, 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 you could, you could. You sure? Yeah, I was going to talk with you about your meeting with Othella. 
be honest with you, man, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy Sepp tell me one thing, and the other I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for it. It is my thing. It's a great idea. It's well-researched. But Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't want to make the coaching staff angry. That's not going to happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? Well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine. Man, relax. Just a palace entry. That's all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. So you're saying that should break your thing? Consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal. Bust him in the kneecap. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good. That's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddy's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he like angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read too, but I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. A play me. But the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tight. He flum flam. Which means that Freddy's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data driven angle. You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer's trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, so all I'm saying is you just gotta you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. <laughs> Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's funny, man. <laughs> but all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? All so right, instead of right. launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow yeah, play, exactly. Slow play. Right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay. okay. Right, I right, right, right. It's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Right well, now. And Ashley are running point on this. So I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there, I'm your guy. Okay, Let's okay, <laughs> I get it. Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you. Win some games, maybe, and... Hey, get out there, man. All right, I'm getting out there. I'm being off as anyway. Okay, back over here. It's coming out. Ray Ray. Low BDR scar. He sounds excited. Don't y'all judge me. I can't judge. I can't run in a street line. See, I'm learning as we go for it. Gotta do a workout.
Yeah. Purple and gold, baby. Football. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? Let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. And things are yeah, bring it. so fast, it can take years for the game to slow down. Davis finds Vanderbilt. Outside, Russell. Six to shoot. Here's Davis. That one doesn't drop. The Clippers go the other way with it. George looking over the floor. Batum sets a screen for George. LeBron against Leonard. Batum sets a screen for Leonard. And the three off target. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, I briefly spoke with the Lakers head coach. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunity. Let's go, Lake. Those guys are going to look to take advantage. Let's go, Lake. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Could be a tall tale. Come on, come on. That's the MP. Line up now. Go get it, MP. Go get it. MP outside. Hits the three point five. And you look at MP, you have to think back to his very successful college Money. break. Was an outright star at that level. Yeah, stayed three years before making the jump to the NBA. You don't see that too often nowadays, but he won a college championship and had nothing left to prove. LeBron against Powell. Nice. And again, it's the Lakers That's three. deep. There's two of them. Two, two of them. Back back. The trigger, you know he's feeling it. 105 left in the first quarter. Here's Highland. Covington, a screen on Schroeder. Outside, Covington. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Well, he tries to enter with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Back to MP. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. And that's now hey, six points for MP. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. High post, Zubas. In your face. Here's man covered by MP. And again, it's the get Clippers missing. Lakers leading by three. Pass to James. MP sets the screen for James. Shoots over Powell. And another basket for the Lakers. It's LeBron too easy out here. Fighting the legacy. The jumper is pure. Here's Powell. Flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Nice. Just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. We've got MP. 
Muhammad Bamba is out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Russell, and it's Walker in at the small forward. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And here's MP for three. I miss! For the Lakers, they won their last contest that game against Golden State. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA team to split a venue, but that's going to change soon. Bamba finds Walker. Lakers passing it around. Basket counts. MP's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Westbrook against Russell. Pass to George. Now here's Leonard. He's tightly guarded. Just five on the clock. Out to the right wing. From the arc. And no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Englewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. Really. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. They're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. Zubox kicks to Westbrook. Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets it. Plumley is checked in for Zubox, and it's Batum in for Norman Powell. Russell Westbrook drops a bolt and home court advantage. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Lakers on top, up three. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Folks, welcome. The Lakers wrap up the first half in what's been a closely contested game so far. You look at these assists total early. They're playing as one complete unit. When you see that many assists, that means that everyone's involved. Constant motion, finding three guys. Yeah, the defense looks confused at times. Okay, and now moving on to what's been a fantastic head-to-head -head matchup at the two-guard spot. Two guys clearly battling for the spot, both putting on a show. You just hope it doesn't become an all-hero ball. Yeah, it's the scoreboard that decides the real winner in the end. That's pretty profound on my part, don't you think? Yes, it does. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Paul George really making a difference here. And, and And it's Westbrook in at the point. Well, D'Angelo Russell is a dynamic scorer in the NBA. He's got a unique skill set at the position. The key is he's got to continue to grow as a decision maker. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Russell is continuing to develop that deep perimeter shot. He's got to continue to be a factor from there. And now in the final year of his contract, D'Angelo Russell trying to get back to that all-star level and the promise that got him that last four-year deal. Here's George. 
Hits that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. But Paul George has been cooking all night. The defense has nothing for him right now. Vanderbilt against Batum. Here's MP. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Plumley with a screen on Russell. George passes to Plumley. That ball, nice speed that time from George. George has got his third assist on the night. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Lakers are, of course, one of the league's story franchises. Magic Johnson was asked recently if they have the best all-time collection of players. He says it's not even close. Outside of Bill, we have all the dominant closers. Kobe, Jerry, LeBron now, Irving. Come on now, it's just too many Lakers. Kevin, back to you. <laughs> well, he, he's got a point, David. We thank you for your report. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by nine points. Jacks up a three. Rebound the Lakers. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. MP passes to James. 139 left here in the third quarter. And yes, it's good. Well, LeBron James, if you allow him interior position, he's so strong, so physically gifted, forget about it. Right here's a classic. Takes it in for the layup off a very nice feet. Man's got six. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. MP outside. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Puts it up from 12. Highland with the rebound. The Clippers have gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Six. Leonard with a screen on Schroeder. Pass to Leonard. Shields over Hachimura. And it's Leonard missing. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Schroeder dishes to MP. For the three. Sinks the three-pointer. MP's got eight here in the quarter. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, we Y'all well saw that block? Jeez.
James. They've got Bamba. He's out there with Anthony Davis. D'Angelo Russell out there with LeBron James. And it's Reeves in at the shooting guard. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And LeBron makes that insane dribble move look so effortless. What a showman he is. Leonard looking over the floor. Shoots over Bamba. Outside for George. And again, it's the Clippers missing. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebounded. Pass to Reeves. And here is Bamba. Outside Russell. Shot clock at five. Back to Bamba. From deep three-point range. Russell no. They can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Good on the shot. And the Lakers lead by 12. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. All right, y'all. That's game two. Anthony, and I took Kid 23 XS at Vincent. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. So long. Peace.